Welcome to Data Project Hub. In this video, we will solve a pretty complex SQL entry question. The question is, you are given a table, task, containing three columns, task ID, start date and end date. It is guaranteed that the difference between the end date and start date is equal to one for each row in the table. So this is our first condition. And if the end date of the task are consecutive, then they are part of the same project. The manager is interested in finding the total number of different projects completed. Then write a query to output the start date and end date of projects listed by the number of days it took to complete the project in ascending order. If there is more than one project that have the same number of completion days, then order by the start date of the project. So that is the required output we are looking for. For that, I have already created a table called as task. Let me curate the table and then I will explain the question once again, then it will be pretty clear. So this is our table called as task, which consists of three column, that is task ID, start date and end date. Now I have created the same table in Excel so that we can do some minor analysis on Excel itself and then come back to SSMS and replicate the same in SQL. Let me go to Excel. And let us see the first condition that is it is guaranteed that the difference between end date and start date is equal to one day for each row in the table so here i have created the same table so when we go through each of the row we can see that the difference between start date and end date for each task is one day so for the task id one we can see that the start date is 1 10 20 24 and the task end on 2nd 10 2024 similarly the second task is starting on 0 to 10 2024 and ending on 0 3 10 2024. Similarly, we can see that for each row, the start date and end date, the difference is one. So every task is taking only one day to complete. So that is the first condition. Now coming back, this is the second condition. That is, if the end date of the task are consecutive, then they are part of the same project. Now let us see that in the table. So when we go through the end date, we can see that this is 2, 10, 20, 24, then it is 3, 10, 20, 24, then it is 4, 10, 20, 24. After 4, we can see that it is 14. So up to 4, these are consecutive end date. So we can say that task 1, task 2, and task 3 are part of the same project. Let me highlight it with a different color. So these are part of a same project. Now coming down, we can see that Another task which is 4 is ending on 14, 10, 20, 24 and the next end date is 15, 10, 20, 24. So this is also part of the same project. So let me highlight that as well with a different color. So it, let it be blue. Then the sixth task is starting on 28, 10, 20, 24 and ending on 24, 10, 20, 24. And when looking at the end date, we can see that the next end date is 31, 10, 20, 24. It is not 30 so these are not part of the same project so these are part of different project so 6 alone is a project and 7 alone is another project so these are two other separate projects now our question is write a query to output the start date and end date of project listed by the number of days it took to complete the project in ascending order so now our output what we are looking for should look like this so the start date column then we have a end date column which is the second column and the third column is number of days it took to complete that is number of days and our output should be in a format where we have the start date 01 10 2024 for the first project with respect to task id 1 and the end date should be 4 10 2024 because these three tasks are part of the same project and the task with respect to that project is starting on 01 10 2024 and is ending on 04 10 2024 so this should be the first row and 04 10 2024 should be the end date and number of days it took to complete should be three and then for the second project it should be 13 10 2024 the start date and 15 10 2024 the end date and the number of days it took to complete should be one sorry 
it is 3 and now here it is 1 and now similarly we can see that for task 6 the start date is 28 and 2024 and since that task itself is corresponding to a project there is no separate end date we can take the same end date so this is not uh, 1 it is 2 then coming down the difference is one day that is number of days it took to complete is one day and similarly for the task id 7 we have start date 30 10 2024 and 31 10 2024 with a number of completion days one so this is our expected output and finally there is one more condition that is if there is more than one project that have the same number of completion days then order by start date of the project so this satisfies that condition that is number of days is same one one to complete the projects and we are ordering the result based on the start date in ascending order now let us go back to ssms and write query for the same so we have the same table which is created called as task now we are going to write a select clause based on which we are now only going to fetch start date which is not available in the end date column that is start underscore date from task table where start underscore date not in inside parenthesis we will write a sub query that is select end date from the same table task so now if we run the query we will get start date whichever is not available in the end date column before that we need to add one more column using the row number function that is row number over and we don't want any partition here we just need an order by clause that is order by start date in ascending order as row underscore one so i'm giving a name called as row underscore one now if we execute this we will get start date whichever is not available in the end date column in the task table and we will place this inside a cte before placing this inside a cte let us write one more query which is similar to the query which we wrote so here we will fetch the end date whichever is not available in the start date column so instead of start date we change it to end date so here also order by end date in ascending order and here where end date not equal to or not in select start date so whichever end date is not available in the start date column we will be fetching using the second query so execute this and we will get a result where we have two columns the first column will be end date and the second column will be row underscore two corresponding to each of the end date so this is our second query now let us place the first query inside a cte called as t1 with t1 as open and close parenthesis now after that we will place the second query also inside a cte that is t2 open and close parenthesis now we will join the two tables that is t1 and t2 we will join here from t1 we will create a join t2 that is t1 dot sorry we have to write an on on t1 dot row underscore one equal t2 dot row underscore two and we will give a star here so that it can fetch all the columns now execute this and let us see what is the result we are going to get now we can see that we have a result which is almost similar to what we are looking for so now we have the start date and end date corresponding to each of the project so we have the start date 2024 10 1 and the end date of that particular project is 2024 10 4 similarly we have the same for all four projects now we want the difference between end date and start date corresponding to each of the project for that we will use a date diff function date diff and inside we will specify the interval that is day and the start date is start date column which we took from the 
T1 CTE and the second column is end date column which we took from the second CTE that is T2. Here since the names are different we don't have to provide the alias name otherwise it would give us an error. Date diff as number of days. Now execute this we will get an additional column where we have the number of days it took to complete the project. So corresponding to the first row we have three, second row we have two and third row we have one and fourth row we have one that is the number of days each project took to complete and now we have to order our final result based on the number of days it took to complete in descending order that is copy and paste it here in descending order and if the number of days are same we have to sort it based on the start date in ascending order ASC and also before executing this in our final result we require only start date and end date we does not want the row 1 and row 2 column that is start date comma end date column now we have completed the query now let us execute this and see what is the result we are getting before executing let me make a small change that is it is not simply order it is order by yeah now execute this and we will get the result which we are looking for execute this and now we have the start date end date and number of days for each project and this is the exact same result which we are looking for let us copy this and let us simply compare it with the result so this is the start date column this is the end date column and this is the number of days it took to complete we can see that we have the exact matching result which we were looking for thanks for watching and subscribe for more such videos thank you